hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we are going to have a look at muffler how muffler is designed to dissipate the loud noise that is created inside the engine how it dampens engine noise is what we are going to focus in this video well in order to clearly understand how the muffler operates first it is better to understand how sound is produced now sound is a pressure wave formed by vibration. Now these vibrations are pulses of alternating high and low air pressure. So it has a sine wave, you know. When sound is generated every time exhaust valve is opened, for example in an, e in an engine, every time exhaust opens, surge of high pressure gas will be entering the exhaust system. Now these high pressure gases will collide with the low pressure molecules and that creates a pressure wave. That is what we call it sound. That pressure wave, that is what we hear. And that travels through the exhaust system. Have you ever heard a vehicle running with exhaust removed? You might have heard how disturbing that noise is. Now, in order to have a comfortable ride, that sound has to be dampened. And that is the function of the muffler. So the, the main task is to muff to silence that exhaust noise. Well, when we look at the construction, as you can see, it is made up of steel, steel that is coated with aluminum so that it can resist chemicals released from the exhaust and it, it can also dissipate heat generated inside the exhaust. Now, this is the internal construction of a, a muffler. Well, to look at how it is operating, first let us have a look at the principle of construction. See, it has double layers. Cover has double layer. Here we have one layer. Here we have another layer. If you look at on the other side also, it is a double layer. So the walls are also designed so that they can dissipate the loud noise. It muffs the loud noise that is across this. Now, let's see how it is constructed. It's a very simple construction, but it's a very powerful device. Well, we have set of tubes. For example, in this particular muffler, we have three tubes. The center one is coming from the engine side, so this will be the inlet. This will be the inlet. And we have two other pipes. This will be the outlet. This is through which exhaust leaves the muffler. And there is also another pipe right there. There is a third pipe. Now, when we look at the chambers, we have chambers. This one, this one. And this one, we have three chambers. Well, we call this the resonator chamber. And we also call this the resonator chamber. And let's call this the middle chamber. Now, there are also perforations. We have holes that are perforation holes that are here produced. Now, because of the exhaust, we have extremely loud noise that is admitted into the muffler through the center pipe. Now, how do we muff that? Now, the best cool thing about sound is that it can cancel out. If we have a wave that is coming in this direction and we have another wave that is coming in opposite direction and when they meet, that sound will cancel out. So that is the principle that is used by mufflers or sometimes known as silencers. by using destructive interference. This principle is called destructive interference. Now let's see how that is generated. Let's say there is a high pressure sound wave that is coming in from this side. Then what will happen? It will come, it will travel through here, and then it will exit this pipe and collide with this wall. Here we have a blocked wall. It will collide with this wall. Now, when that high-speed exhaust collides with this wall, what will happen? The speed will be reduced. And because there is no other alternative, it has to make a U-turn in order to pass through the third pipe there. Making a U-turn will reduce the speed and will reduce the pressure as well. So what will happen? Let's say there is a low-pressure sound wave that is bouncing from the wall. And 
there is another high speed wave that is coming from the engine. It's continuously coming in from the engine as the exhaust valve opens and closes. Every time it comes, there is a high pressure that is coming. There is a low pressure that is bouncing from the resonator chamber, they collide. Now, when these two sound waves collide, the volume will cancel out. The sound will cancel out. So some of the frequencies will cancel out. That is how the resonator chamber is designed. The resonator chamber is designed so that it can have some amount of air bouncing from here so that it can cancel out some of the frequencies that is coming from the center pipe. So that is how it operates. Then the one that is deflected has to travel through the lower pipe. Then it will get admitted to this resonator chamber on the lower side. Then it has to make another U-turn in order to exit the muffler. So by causing restrictions, by causing direction change, exhaust gas has to come in this way. It has to make a U-turn, go through that pipe. Then it has to make another U-turn and exit the muffler this way. So by changing direction and by using destructive interference, we can reduce noise. So the idea is simply there is a high pressure exhaust coming this way and you can have a low pressure that is coming this way. When the two collide, they will distract each other. The noise will distract, the waves will cancel out. So if you have a positive wave that is coming in this direction and if you have another sound wave coming in opposite direction with a similar wavelength, when they two meet, they will cancel out. So that is the main principle that is used inside the exhaust muffler. To repeat, exhaust is coming in this way. It will collide with this wall and then it will get deflected back. And then there is another exhaust that is coming from the engine side. So what will happen? When the deflected meets the one incoming, they will cancel some of the frequency. And the remaining exhaust, which is admitted into this resonator chamber, will travel through that pipe, there is a third pipe, and then it will come admitted to this chamber again. Similarly, what happens? There is air that is coming through the third chamber to this chamber. There is a previously, that is, the, the previous ones, they collide with this wall again, they bounce back, and they will meet with the other sound wave that is following them. It will cancel out again. So by repeatedly colliding the sound waves and by repeatedly making a U-turn inside here, we can reduce noise. So this is how you silence engine noise by using mufflers. This is a very simple construction. And perforations are here. These perforations also allow some of the exhaust to admit it into the center chamber. Those who bubble up through the center pipe will also cancel out because those which are coming from this pipe are at different pressure and speed from zones that are exiting this pipe. So when they meet, they cancel out. Now the idea is every time the engine is running at different speed, we have a sound wave that is generated at different wavelengths. So only some parts of that, major part of those are damped by the muffler. So we still hear a sound wave exiting the engine exiting the tailpipe, but majority of them are cancelled out by this muffler. So the distance between these walls, the distance between these walls are calculated so that the wavelengths that can be produced inside here by the airflow here will cancel some of the frequency of the incoming exhaust and the wavelength that is produced in here bouncing from the wall will cancel some of the remaining frequency and some of the remaining frequencies are also cancelled here by doing so, we have reduced majority of the sound waves that is emitted from the engine. So this is how mufflers are constructed. Sometimes we call them silencer, and this is how they operate. The inner one is the inlet, and we have deflectors here. We have deflectors here, we call them resonator chambers, and we have a center chamber with perforations. Here we have perforations. And all of this is to get use of destructive interference. So the tubes are designed carefully to create reflected waves that interfere with each other and 
as a result, cancel each other out. So then finally, through the tailpipe, this way, only a limited reduced noise will be exiting the muffler. Well, that is all we have for you in this presentation. It's a very simple construction, but it is somehow challenging to explain. Well, I hope you have understood the basics of muffler operation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.